Hi guys, welcome back. It's time for us to create together. Here I am in my music room and, well, wait, am I really in my music room? Maybe I'm in front of the school right now. You know, that's the neat thing with technology nowadays. We could pretend to be wherever we want. So let's be really creative. And uh, this is Andy's room from Toy Story. So we'll have our lesson from here today. Today I wanna be creative with you guys. And since we have the time to do it, let's compose together. And the easiest way we can do this is with a program that's free, that's on the computer, it's called Chrome Music Lab. So let me share my screen now, and I will show you how to do it. So on Chrome Music Lab, when it opens up, and if it opens up on a screen where there's already things on it, on the top right-hand corner, probably right underneath my picture, you can click the reset button, and the restart button will bring you back. Now on here, it's set up right now with two octaves. Now remember, octave is going from one note, say C, to the next C. And it's color-coded, so if I click on a note, it's going to give me that same color that we would use with our boom whackers. So we're just kind of build up here. And then if I hit play, it plays. So the really, really cool thing about this is I can even add and create as it's going. So I can play away. And right now I'm just experimenting with some different shapes and patterns. And you can tell that as the sound and the pitch moves up, the pitch sounds higher. And of course, as it goes down on my screen, the pitch is going lower. And I can just create away. I can make harmonies with this too. And of course, it's really easy just to hit the restart button and get that fresh canvas, just like if you were making an art project. So here's my blank canvas, and maybe I wanna build and create some different shapes and patterns. So I can hold down my mouse. I'm just gonna kinda of go up our scale here. You notice I'm just clicking and dragging across. And when I do that, it's gonna repeat the note for me. I added harmony to that. So maybe I'll put a little break and have it go up in thirds. I call them thirds because I got one, two, three. That's the difference between the interval. Instantly have some harmonies here. I can even add full chords if I wanted to. Whoops, made a mistake. That's okay. I just click off of it and I'm good to go. So cool, so easy to create and mess around with. What I want you to do this week is exactly that. I want you to create. I want you to take this blank canvas and try some things. Maybe you're just going to go through and see if you can recreate a song. So if I did Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, for instance. I can play it. Now the really cool thing about this is I can actually add a drum beat on the bottom too. So I have the lower part here. In this case, it's gonna be a bass drum. So um, let's kind of make like kind of a rock rhythm here. So I got snare drum here and bass drum on the bottom. So I'm just gonna kind of add this beat pattern. We're going like this. Let's see how this sounds. Suddenly, my twinkle twinkle just got a lot funkier and cooler. And again, I kind of have an idea of what I'm trying to create, but there's no wrong way when you're creating something. Here it is again. Here's my creation. And you know what, I made a mistake over here, but I kind of like how it turned out. And that's the neat thing. Sometimes creations happen through accident. Now, a couple things I can do since we're talking about time this week, I can change the tempo of it. I have a number right here, it says tempo. Of course, that's the speed of our song. 120, that's our beats per minute, our BPM. So if I make the number lower, it's gonna be slower. And of course, Now, 
I can also change the sounds I use. I can go from the marimba sound to a piano. I can use strings and so many more things, woodwind sounds, synthesizer sounds, back to marimba. And the same thing with our percussion, right now it's on electronic sound. Here's wood blocks. Here's a traditional drum set. And congas. So many, many, many cool, cool things you can do with this. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to create and I too, I use Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but I want you to create your own song. And when you're done, go down the bottom right hand corner where it clicks save. Now when you do that, it's gonna open up a link. Now it's a long link that's hard to see on the screen. The easiest thing is to just do copy link. And then I want you to email it to me and say, hey, this is my song. You can even name it if you want. Send me your song and then I'll be able to open it back up. Now, the really cool thing is I'm going to try to give you guys a blank canvas to use, but I'm also going to include some other songs, maybe songs like um, classical pieces like Beethoven's Night, just so you can see how it's fair. I'll even find some pop songs or songs that you're used to listening to on the radio that we've worked on in class so far this year, and then you'll have a place to start from. Just got to X out over here, and then back to my song. Again, we have the time to create. Let's do it create something amazing, send it to me, and then I can't wait to sh share um, what you create with other people. Who knows, maybe this will be the start of something amazing. So the program again we're using is called Chrome Music Lab, and this is called Song Maker. The link for um, some of my examples along with the blank canvas for this are gonna be underneath in the description of this YouTube link. Have fun with it, create, and I can't wait to see what you can do.